So the red pill is a concept that has been around since the 90s and the creation of the movie The Matrix. But since then it has been taken and morphed into something else that is not exactly relevant or relative to any man's success. So let's talk about that right now. Alright, so basically I came up with this idea because I was watching some videos and I realized that a big part of the self-improvement movement is this idea of understanding female nature and understanding that all females are bad and all this nonsense that somehow gets bundled in with self-improvement. I think it's because a lot of men start their self-improvement journey after being dumped on their ass by someone that they love a lot. That's just a big thing of what happened. Happens to men. This didn't happen to me personally, but for whatever reason, understandably, I guess, most men get on all these habits, no fab, cold showers, workouts, blah, 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 after the girl that they love dumps them for someone else, cheats on them, or things just don't work out and they start down this path of hating women and that is so so toxic for a multitude of reasons but first I'm going to explain what the red pill actually is and why these guys decided to take an amazing amazing idea belief and doctrine and turn it into this utter catastrophe so First of all, the first and foremost thing that we have to understand is the red pill originally is something that came out of the movie The Matrix. If you have not watched The Matrix, stop this video right now and go watch The Matrix. It's one of the best movies of all time, if not the best movie of all time. So, basically what happens is a man named Morpheus who knows what's going on in the underlings of the world and understands things that most people would never dare to gives the main character Neo two pills the blue pill which will send him back to his reality wake him up and make him think this was a dream or whatever else he wants to think he can basically make whatever story he wants in his head or the red pill which obviously Neo ends up taking, which is the pill that most people dare not swallow because it will tell them the unforgiving truths that most don't want to hear. And this is basically a commentary on how most people would rather remain ignorant than know the truth for the sake of their own happiness and well-being, or so they perceive. And it basically takes the watcher down the path of the matrix and understanding what the matrix is and how it is all around us I guess and I'll definitely make a video soon probably titled escape the matrix but this is not really going to be that video this is going to be about something else which is the misconstruction of what the red pill is by reddit critics so the reason why they picked the red pill for their little game here is because they want to garner as much attention to it as possible. And for some reason the color red is very like eye-catching to our psychology. This book is red and white. You can see it's very popping. If it was just white, it wouldn't be as like bright and shining, but since it's red, for some reason our eyes are attracted to it. I think that's one reason, but I think the deeper reason here is because they want us men to think that the matrix around us is female attraction, which couldn't be further from the truth. While it is substantially harder for men in this day and age to obtain a girl that they desire, it's mostly because of men themselves and not because of some sort of societal imbalance that has occurred over the last hundred years. And 
Basically, the the Reddit red pill, the budget red pill, is the belief that all women are inherently evil. And the problem with this is that even if you think that's true, and if you do, you know, you're entitled to your own opinion, you have to analyze the fact that the reason why you think this is true is probably because you've had a horrible experience with women that you don't want to remember and you don't want to take accountability for. Therefore, you blame the entire, like, creed of women for the disaster that happened between you and one woman. And think about it. In doing this, it will actually prevent you from furthering your experiences with women and actually finding one that suits your needs and that you love. So, it's kind of like saying all black people are robbers because one black person robs someone on television. It's just not indicative of any sort of intellectual capability and overall a man being trapped in his own head and not understanding the way things work overall and just being flat out wrong. But that's neither here nor there. We have to stop listening to these red pillars and we have to go back to the original principles of the red pill which are you know being controlling your of your own destiny knowing about the evil power structure that is above us being able to see the matrix for what it is and the direction that society pushes every modern day person into this life of working your entire life never having a proper savings never being able to take any time off and retiring at 65 with debt, tax, and all of these other things. It doesn't have to be that way with the right learning, with the right knowledge, and with the right set of teachers. It's very possible to escape these problems. And while most people will not do it, if you're watching this channel and other self-improvement channels like this, chances are you want something better for yourself. So, with that being said, I'm kind of going to leave you guys with this cliffhanger. Don't trust the fake red pill, but immerse yourself in the teachings that the Matrix is trying to point us towards and become free and free your mind. With that being said, I'm going to end it off here. Kind of a short video today, but we'll be back with more on actual tips on how to break free from the Matrix. So if you guys are excited about that, Make sure to subscribe. I never ask you guys to subscribe, but I'm pretty sure about 70% of my viewers are not subscribed. So let's change that. And uh, yeah, guys, without further ado, adios, and I'll see you guys soon.